there's a few different methods to get there. This works for me. I think everyone's going to have their own way. So I'm just going to show you my way. So don't get offended that I, I haven't shown you the other ways. I'm showing you how I do this, not how others do it. So um, this works really well for me. I, I don't know how others do it. Okay. Um, so the first potion I have is obviously a ranging potion, then a super combat and the antidote. These are fairly inexpensive and they give you anti-poison protection for like 12 minutes. Every hit point counts, so you may as well pot up before you get there. And then a stamina, because we're going to be flinching, flicking, whatever you want to call it, um, the boss. And to do that, you're going to want to go into your settings, and go to controls, and where you have NPC attack options, you want to have it on always right click. That way you can just click around, and then you'll be right clicking to actually attack the NPC. So, for the gear I have on right now, I have on Ava's assembler. Um, you know, use your best in select gear. You know, not everyone's going to have Dragon Sword 2 done. If you can't use a Fury or can't afford a Fury, buy a Glory. Um, Dragon Hide will do fine. It's just going to be a little bit more difficult. So, let me go ahead and switch some of this gear over to what, you know, most players might have. Um, and by the way, whenever I go to leave, um, I drink these potions, I put them up, and then I grab some manta rays. So that's my strategy. Um, I know everyone's will be slightly different. So I'm going to go ahead and put the bludgeon up. I'm going to swap that for the um, barrel chest anchor. And what else was there? Sorry, this might take me a minute to switch out here. Um, we'll swap. The Carol's top, and we'll swap um, the Fury for a Glory. Oh, and the bow. So, go ahead and grab this is a Crystal Bone Butte, but also fairly inexpensive. Um, so, don't need those. Go ahead and grab out the Black Dragon Hide. So yeah, um, I think that's that's pretty reasonable for. Uh, oops, I'll go ahead and add the attack to that. That's pretty reasonable for for anyone, I think. Um, I am wearing a Zerker ring. I I'll take that off and swap it for a warrior's ring because this is about three mil. So I'll swap it for the warrior's ring. I. That's only about 80k. I think that's reasonable. So this is going to be the melee switch. Um, that's what we'll initially attack with. And then we want to have it set up like this. Whenever it goes to the second phase, we'll switch into... Oh, sorry, I had that backwards. Switch into that. So for now, we're going to wear this. Um, I go ahead and I turn on preserve. Pot up. Use antidote, and if you have a dragon warhammer special, um, that's great. I, I highly recommend using that, and then going into the bludgeon or the band of God sword. Both are excellent choices. Uh, if you have a ring of life, you may opt to use that instead, especially if you're just starting out. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and teleport to house. And you know, I people may complain because oh, I don't have a max house or whatever. Um, if you don't have a max house, that's fine. You can you can. Um, Totally avoid this and use the Clan Wars portal. And then, as far as getting there, you're going to have to figure that out whether you want to go through the desert. Um, that's probably your best option. But, like I said, this is how I do it. So, once you're here, you run north. But if you just want to see where this is on the map, so we're going to here, the dungeon. But you can see it's not far from the bank over here. So, if you teleport to Alcard or however you say it, um, another way is to go through here, but I think you have to have some diaries done. But anyway, this is where it is. So this is how I do it. I go by the fairy ring. And then once you're here, you're going to swap back to your melee weapon. And uh, you want to bring two ropes because if you haven't done the diaries, uh, I think it's the diaries, they will disappear on you every time. Uh, and then the diary also helps you. I think it's the elite. You can skip through here, and that's actually the entrance. Otherwise, we're just going to run around here. 
And for the purpose of new players, um, or new to Calfi Queen, I should say, hopefully you're not new trying to do this, um, I'm going to run through the whole thing. Like I said, this is going to be unedited. That way you can see every step of the way how I do this. And I'm quite curious to see how the uh, barrel chest anchor does on Calfi Queen and the crystal bow. This, this should be interesting. You know, I don't know if I'll be able to do this or not, but I'm just going to go for it. Um, I'm 32 kill count, I believe. Um, so I'm, I'm not super experienced, but I haven't died at all, and I've been able to successfully kill it every time with the setup I was using. So if you come right here, you can peek in the crack and see if there's anyone in there. There's no one inside. So we're going to put the rope on here and go ahead and protect from melee because these things can hit up to like 16s on you. And then we're going to climb down. You don't have to worry about much right here. Um, Calfi Queen's usually not over here. You're going to run past these. And then as soon as you get past these, I typically turn on my protection prayer. Um, I have my quick prayer set up like that. And we're going to attack and then run underneath. And then this is where the right click option really comes in handy. Um, you just want to keep doing this. And whenever the workers come out, it helps a ton because the cow fight queen kind of gets stuck in her own traps and um, it's much easier. So you just want to keep clicking underneath it. And as you're doing that, wait for the health bar to go away, attack, and then run back underneath. That's the easiest way I can describe. And make sure you check your prayer and your run energy because you certainly don't want those to run out. If you're flinching it well and the workers are out and she's kind of stuck, you can turn your protection prayers off. But when it's kind of out in the open like this, it's really hard to do. So I'm not going to try that right now. And um, while there's no workers around, it, it's kind of difficult to, to not get hit every now and then. But... Um, Real Chest Anchor seems to be doing really well. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Um, another option, if you don't have the Fire Cape, you could use a Mythical Cape. It gives a plus six to crush, whereas the Fire Cape gives a plus one. So also not a bad alternative. Um, but I think most people at this level or close will have a Fire Cape. Um, definitely want to have like around 80 plus stats or so. To do Calfi Queen, you could certainly do it lower. Um, it just might take a little longer. So I bring three prayer potions, and usually I don't use them all. But that's mainly in case I get a food drop and I can do a second kill. Um, so far, I think the most I've done was two or two and a half kills. If you leave some of the health, don't worry. You can come back, and it seems to keep the health for a long time. I've came back and finished kills probably three times. So... I'm really surprised actually the barrel chest anchor is doing really as well or better than uh, the it seems like the bludgeon as far as hits go so that's really nice um, I'm definitely interested to see how the crystal bow does here and um, if you do the blowpipe once you've spec'd out twice on on cal on the first phase you may want to save your your uh, blowpipe specs if you're starting out, so you can heal afterwards. Um, it's just you don't have to do that, but if you're worried you're low on food, maybe you didn't do too well in the first phase, it's it's definitely a good option to consider. So this is difficult um, because none of the workers have come out to kind of block her in. So it's good actually that you're seeing this. But if you do get the workers to block her in, you really don't have to move at all. You can hit and then just step back, and it's it's actually much more easier than what I'm doing now. Uh, they just haven't come out, and sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So I'm doing okay on food. I'm going to go ahead and try to spec again. Oh. And see, I'm kind of glad I bought, brought three prayer potions since I'm not using, you know, the best optimal setup. It's not damaging quite as, well, I guess it's okay. But um, anyway, it's always good to bring three prayer potions. So you can see right now what just happened was they blocked KQN. And um, now we can go ahead and switch to range prayer. And skill skin, I use these. Obviously, if you have uh, rigor, you certainly want to use that. 
And now we'll see how the crystal bow does. If you start to take a lot of damage, just step back underneath just as before and um, eat up. So you can heal like this, no big deal. You know, stand here as long as you need to. If you're using the blowpipe, you know, it'll be poison, so you could actually let that damage it. And then just step back out. Uh, another thing you can do is this. So we'll attack and then run back underneath just in case you're worried. And you can do this really quick if you want. Um, since I'm using the crystal bow, this seems to work pretty well. Okay, so I better heal up here. I like drinking some more prayer. And get a stamina just so while I'm running it doesn't mess anything up. But you can see, this is what I was talking about with the workers. Normally this happens on the first phase, but here on the second phase, um, it, it still helps out just as well. So go ahead and try to finish this up. The blowpipe is just so much better here. You can use adamant or rune darts. Um, the blowpipe just hits really, really fast, so it's it's very nice. All right, so I'm gonna step back under here, heal back up real quick. Hoping I have enough food. The damage uh, with this crystal bow is not quite what I was expecting. So maybe a magic short bow would be a better alternative, like a magic short bow eye, so you at least get the special attack. I don't know that I'm going to be able to finish up this kill with the crystal bow. I may have to come back to finish this off. The highest hit I think I've seen was a 31 on me. So, um, yeah, just be aware of that. This is not looking good. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and dip out on this and come back. But I think that shows you pretty well um, what to expect. Um, so I'm going to show you what to do in this situation because this may happen to you where you know you ran out of supplies or whatever and you need to come back so we're gonna go ahead and just gear back up real quick two ropes take all these just as if I was going for a whole nother trip and uh, go ahead and turn that back on pot up pot up okay put those back in take these out go back to the house Turn on the lunar staff. Head northwest. Okay, put the rope on. Climb down. Switch. You're going to still be on range here whenever you go back in. So. And drink some stamina. Also something to note on the second phase is I don't know if it's with everyone but it seems like it gets kind of laggy. I think it's because the wings on the creature on the Calfi Queen kind of flap really fast and if you think about it there's really nothing in RuneScape that has that kind of uh, movement so I think it kind of slows it kind of lags a bit the game. I'm playing on a MacBook Pro so I know this isn't super optimal for gaming but this is by no means a slow computer uh, I think it I think it may happen for everyone so uh, just something to note all right so we're gonna go ahead and get our rope ready go on there and uh, turn on your melee climb down and we're gonna run back out I'm gonna go ahead and turn these on let's see if we can find it there it is. See, it's still in the second phase. No big deal. We'll go ahead and run up closer in case we need to flinch it. So, 
um, eat real quick. out here yeah so crystal bow probably not the best option I'd say um, probably like a rune crossbow with uh, diamond bolts E or a magic short bow would probably be a better option so you get better damage per second all right but that's uh that's the kill there so uh, don't <laughs> Don't expect any really great drops. Um, Calfi Queen has semi decent drops, and I'll go ahead and show you guys what the tab looks like from. Well, that's. I had one kill before I started doing this again yesterday. But, um. So, this will. What I'm about to show you will be from 33 kills. So, okay, yeah, that's everything. So, 33 kills, 1.8 mil. But I spent quite a bit on supplies. So, I mean, I, I probably, like, broke even, maybe made a few hundred K. Um, but overall, it's not a get-rich thing. Uh, personally, I just, I want the helmet really bad. I think it's a really cool, kind of looks like Boba Fett. Right now, all I have is the, the black Sawyer helmet. So, I think it'll be be kind of cool to, to have but anyway that's it um, for this so yeah I hope that that helps somebody I know that I was super intimidated by Cal Fight Queen when I first started so I would say don't be intimidated it's just whenever you first run in you get hit really hard but once you actually start walking underneath her it's it becomes way easier and definitely make sure that you get that the the attack option set up to, to where you're on right click instead of left click um, that that alone will help you because just doing this and trying to left click like that it, it doesn't work so um, that's all and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one